Oh, another traveller. From where? Wait, let me guess. Hmm. From Tamaria. Had it at the tip of my tongue. So, what brings you to Bergen? Wait, I know. Business. Just what I thought. And you're... A witcher. Well, well. We don't often see witches here. Um, what do witches do anyway? We solve problems. Oh, I have a problem with my boyfriend. Did you find his entrails strewn on the porch and his head a few paces away? Because those are the kind of problems I solve. Say it again. Humans are strange. See, greetings. Don't bother. Whether the bride's been ploughed, has a dowry, is diligent. Yet here we've a common. Oh, 
Pizza Papa! Standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy, handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner, a pest forced to issue from the land of Ketwin.
You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Vergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Maria on the left. The splendid sight was upon. You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn, the repulsive headhound of the Nilfgaardian pack, was a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Your memory has suffered after death. Kohorn perished at Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Bergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You're right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Bergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. I'm the last. Be so good as to remind me. Seltkirk led Eddard. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that the mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. But I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre in Bergen. Reverend Crest led us out of the fire. He had a magic medallion that protected us from the flames. Many survive? Civic's platoon. Civic. The regiment's best corporal. You have proven that you served in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Hensel's army from advancing. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, he'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your heart? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down.
So, Fergan's grown a bit, eh? Hey! Have you seen? Do the gods favor Lady Sassy? He's a famous murderer. Gods never damn this. Damn you.
Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the Black Dogs, courteously, why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger. Knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. 
If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise. Damn it! This is a brothel, not a military camp. At last, have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution I was on that hill. I'll show you. Flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse, combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did. But earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, your majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, Your Majesty.
Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. I must have got it wrong. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, your majesty. Head towards the black candles, your majesty. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Now towards the burnt tree. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire's a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots! Stay in the circle, your majesty. The powder reeks of dwarven dung. They're scared of ghosts, as we all are. Curses! There's hundreds of them! Calm down, Your Majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. 